Hey guys, I'm gonna be teaching you how to model a gun inside Blender. I'm using uh, 2.64, uh -huh, and let's get started. All right, so once you start it up, um, you'll see these. You'll see a cube, a light, and a camera. What you wanna do is you wanna delete the camera by pressing delete or X, and then. You want, if you have a picture that you want to use for the actual, um, for the actual, you know, like a reference, you go, you press N to open up this little menu, and scroll down to where you see background images, and check this little thing here, and then go here and go add image, and then go to where you saved your image. I personally save mine in downloads, and where is it? Handgun, open image. Now this step is very important. Do not look what you have to do is you have to go to view and then you have to, you have to go right to depending on like your depending on your on your picture if your picture is on the right side of the gun then go to the then press view and right if it is the bottom of the gun which I highly doubt it you could bomb you know you put wherever the, the camera is facing towards the gun All right so mines would be on the left though so you can go back go back go left and you see here alright now what you want to do is you want to go 5 press 5 on your numpad and that makes it sort of into the, the view special for that alright now you're gonna want to set the opacity to maybe there if you want you can put it all the way up but I sort of like it a little bit down so I can see uh, this better alright so now you're gonna want to grab this and you're gonna want to scale it down a little and you're gonna, go, you're gonna move it over here you want to go now you're going to grab it and you're going to press shift D and then you're going to have to move it to where you want it to be I'm just going to move mine uh, over here and oh by the way to pan press shift and then the middle mouse button alright so you have that there so now what you're going to want to do and this is very important you have to press tab while selecting the cube that brings it into edit mode as you can see there's a difference between object mode and edit mode edit mode is so you can actually edit the cube you want to go into object mode, well that's to basically view it as a, a normal object. Alright, so let's go back left. And then, alright, good. So, we're going to go back to tab and bring it into edit mode. So here we're going to press Z for Z. Um, it's, if you want to, I prefer pressing Z to bring it into this, this type of form because if you press, if you don't have it, if you have it like this, then if you select say you wait, no, hold on. if you select hold on, what the heck? Oh yeah. You select this right here. No. Oh my god. If you select this it's not working for me. I don't, I don't know why. Okay. Well whatever. Forget about that. Alright, so just basically move it to where you see in the handgun and we're gonna press B and select it. Now we're gonna move it down here and then we're gonna go A to deselect, press B again, move it here. Alright, now this is something else. This is called extrude. What you have to do is you have to grab these sides and then you wanna go and press E to extrude it. Wait, well while, while it's grabbed. Alright. So now I'm gonna just just move it over here. Alright. Press loop cut and slide. Uh, it's here. It should be there when you're in edit mode. So press loop cut and slide and then you see it makes that little purple thing. So if you want to put it here, you move it over here and then you grab this this little edge here. Move it here. Well then, as you can see, it sort of made it like curved a little. The more polygons you put, the more detail it'll be. So, yeah. Alright, so grab this, move it over here, and then grab this, and we're gonna move it over here, and then again we're gonna put a we're gonna put a loop cut right here so we could bring it down. Okay. So now we put we're gonna do something as we put more than one. We're gonna have to go here, press B to select. And you're gonna want to move it over here, and then you're gonna put another one here, 
just basically do it until it's the shape that you want it to be, basically. Uh, come in there. Okay. I actually, it's it's funny because I learned using Blender in this in this winter break. It's crazy. It's 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 sort of it's sort of easy to learn if you if you really set your mind to it and you um, you know what you're doing. But it takes practice to learn. I mean, it's not exactly the easiest thing in the world, but it's definitely, definitely not the hardest. Alright, so let's take a look at that. Let's see, that's pretty good. Alright, let's go back into edit mode. And we're gonna go and... Alright, Z. Okay, well now we're gonna wanna bring this over here, so we get... Alright, there. And we're gonna wanna extrude this a few times. Alright. Now, if you go while, while you're in extrude mode, you're going to press Z, so you can move it around freely like that. Alright, so now we're going to move it around there, and there we go. I'm going to put it, we're going to put this here, and then we're going to put more loop cuts. Another loop, up, another loop cut here. There we go, and yeah. Alright. Um, okay, I think we saw a little bit more time. Alright, we're gonna wanna go back into left, uh, Z. Uh, what else, what else, what was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? Oh, yeah, that's right. Alright, you're gonna wanna press A to select everything. Go back into, um, this mode. A to select everything, and then we're gonna press S to scale it. I see S, and then we're gonna press, Z, uh, X to move it down. And we're gonna move it to scale it sideways so we're gonna want to put it around here to put it there all right well this is gonna be the end of t uh, tutorial tutorial number one and see you guys in the next one